my Poké peeps. So today we're going to be playing with another dark monotype team. Let's see what we've got today. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we have a Crawdaunt here, Sword Stance, Aquajet, Knockoff, and Superpower. This thing hits like a truck, is awesome. Its ability adaptability is insane. So yeah, hopefully we get to use that pretty effectively. Then we have a Scarfed Hydreigon. This thing again hits really hard, super fast, really cool Pokemon. Also, can at this speed tier, outspeed Scarf Crocodiles, which are also very common. So again, Scarf Crocodile, using that one as well. I really enjoy using a double Scarf. I think it allows a little bit more unpredictability. Uh, people are sort of thinking, oh, he's got a Crocodile, that's probably going to be Scarfed. Oh, he's got a Hydreigon, that might be Scarfed. And sort of gets people second-guessing themselves, make a few more predictions um, off of their misjudgments. And we've got the Alola Muck with the Recycle and the Aguave Berry. Again, this thing's more of a annoying, frustrating, uh, getting in the way Pokemon, whereas... Uh, the others so far have just been pure attacking, so that's what this one's going to be used for. Then we have our Bishop here, again, super strong, hits really hard, has that defiant ability, just in case we come across any Intimidators. I know the Mega Manetrix got the Intimidate now. I don't think there are that many though in this, in the UU tier. Uh, there's the Crocodile as well, but that's not really going to be helping the Bishop. And last but not least, we've got the Mega Houndoom here. Again, insanely powerful, super fun to use, and yeah, let's see how we go with this team. Alright guys, so, we've got a battle here. I'm going to leave with Crocodile. I think Crook's got a very good, um, oh, except for this. Let's go for a knockoff here. He potentially just goes for a Thunder Wave, no, goes for the Reflect. That's fine, we get rid of its uh, Air Balloon. Ooh, I'm, I'm in a tough spot here. Let's go into Muck. I think Muck's a good sort of pivot for me. Um, let's go for a Fire Punch here. He's just going to set up his Hazards. We don't actually have anything for the Hazards though, which is scary. So we've got a Fire Punch going here. Hopefully, Reflect lasts two more turns. He's got the Thunder Wave, but it doesn't work with his Prankster. Yeah, so please one more turn. Oh, that's a shame. So he'll be able to get that one back up now. Um, or he'll switch into the Golisopod. That's probably, yeah. Maybe we get a burn on the entry. That would be kind of cool. We don't, but that's fine. Let's go for Poison Jab. He goes for the first impression. And he's also the Quick Claws set. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, I've always wondered, do you have... Um, like, are you in charge of who you switch into when you use Golosopod? Like, with the emergency exit? Or does it just switch into something for you? I've never actually used one, so... Yeah, I'm a little unsure. Uh, this Muck's actually doing a fairly good job. I don't think I have too many things to worry about. He's obviously got the uh, the Mimikyu setting up in front of me now, which is a bit scary. But we do have options. He goes for the Let's Snuggle Forever. Um, again, I, I personally think he wasted that. I'm just trying to think what we should go into now. Thinking. The Mega Hound Boom. And just going for the Mega Revolve and the Dark Pulse here. He probably goes. Oh, no, he stays in. Let's go. Cool. We do half. Get the flinch. We do actually get the flinch. That's pretty funny. Uh, go for the Dark Pulse again. Chansey. Oh, sorry. Blissey definitely can come in now and not have any issues. Yeah. So Blissey comes in. We're still doing a little chunk there. Uh, I'm going to go for a nasty plot. I don't really need... 
Houndoom. He gets outsped by the Mega Scizor and the uh, Mega Scizor and the uh, Golosopod and the Dizavora. Let's go for Fire Blast. See how much this is doing. We're doing just under half. That's incredible. This thing is so strong. So obviously now he's just going to go for a, um, a soft boil. So we just go for another nasty plot. And then we can just get a hit off on this last turn that we have. So fire blast here. And he goes for the protect. Wow. He kept that in the back pocket really well. Um, that's disappointing though. But we're all good. We can just go into Bishop here. Uh, the Golosopod is still probably going to be my issue. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. Uh, nothing the Blissey can really do. Okay, so he goes into the Clef Key, which goes for a Reflect most likely. So let's just go for the Iron Head. No Thunder Wave. And again, Pranks, he doesn't realize that he can't use those moves with Clef Key. We're in a really good spot. Hopefully he doesn't go into Golosopod. Anything else is fine. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's go for the Sucker Punch. That'll kill. Um, hopefully he goes into uh, Mimikyu. No, Golosopod. Yeah, that, that, like let's go for a Sucker Punch. But first impression goes first. Uh, a shame, but you know, nothing we can really do. Blissey is an issue. A very, very big, annoying issue. I'm trying to think. I'm going to go for a Stone Edge. On the Golosopod. He's potentially got Aqua Jet, but he probably switches into. Uh, actually, no, he should stay. If he, do if he doesn't. Yeah, okay, so this guy's actually quite a, quite a smart battler. Okay. Blissey's out of the way, which is a huge... Sorry I wasn't talking then, I actually just got really confused. So Golosopod can come in now, um, and just cause havoc. But he goes into Beedrill, which was definitely the wrong move, because Aqua Jet's going to do a hell of a lot, unless he's got Fell Stinger, and that's his whole play, he's going for Fell Stinger. Okay. But at the same time... Uh, we still outspeed. Let's go for the Earthquake. I I'm kind of a little bit stressed because, yeah, if he goes into Mimikyu now, we can win. If he goes into Golosopod and just goes for um, the first impression, yeah. So he's probably going to win this purely because of the first impression Golosopod. I don't, I didn't have anything for it. I, I just didn't. Um, I can go for a Dark Pulse here if he switches. Yeah, I am. So this guy's a good battler. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew his ins and he knew his outs. Uh, first impression, Golosopod was his only win condition here. And, yeah. So, good on him. He deserved to win that. Um, only thing that I can think of that would have been better uh, was potentially... Potentially, maybe going having stealth rocks on the team would have reduced the amount of times this thing could have swapped in. Uh, anyways, let's find another battle. All right, guys. So we got another game here. I'm pretty excited. Um, the Slurpuff is definitely scary. However, we have a few options that'll be able to take it out. I'm actually going to lead with Bishop. Now it sounds silly. However, Bishop, if he goes for a Belly Drum with this, the uh, Iron Head will kill it. Uh, if he's in with this, I can Sucker Punch and it'll do a fair bit of damage. If he leads with this, I can go for the Iron Head and that'll do a fair bit of damage. Uh, Iron Head, fair bit of damage. This is the only thing that if he leads with, um, Bishop is sort of stuck on. Perfect. Let's just go for the Iron Head here. And we outspeed and we just take it out straight away. So, could not have gone better with that Bishop play. Now, 
Dimanitan comes in. I'm fine with that. Sucker Punch fails. What does he have? Belly Drum. Wow. Let's just go for another Sucker Punch. Um, he's sort of stuck because... I don't think he attacks here. I mean, he did attack, but he goes down. So that's two huge threats out of the way. Uh, I think he goes into Venomoth here. No, he goes into Snorlax. We go for a knockoff. That's going to do at least 40%. Oh, it does 50, gets rid of the Citrus, and he goes for the Belly Drum there, which is fine. So this guy really loves his Belly Drum Pokemon, so let's just go for a knockoff, take the thing out. It is also a max speed uh, Bishop, so if you're wondering why we're outspeeding some things that we probably shouldn't be with a normal set, because of that extra little bit of speed. Alright, Venomoth comes in. Now this is the thing that I thought he had the best chance with. He goes for the Sleep Powder. I'm fine with that. However, we do need to now go straight into our Hydreigon. Because he's going to go for the Quiver Dance. We probably should have just gone into... Um, um, not Hydreigon and gone into Crocodile, but I'm pretty sure Hydreigon will still outspeed. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Dragon... Um, Draco Media, sorry, and hopefully he just goes for the kill on us and doesn't set up again. Cool. Because now we are free to go into our Crawdont here and just go for an Aqua Jet, which will kill. And then he's really can't set up with anything. Uh, if Aerodactyl comes in, Aqua Jet should be doing enough to kill. He can probably go for a. Okay, actually, he's in a good spot. He's in a good spot, because he'll just go for the extreme speed here. Um, does Sucker Punch still work on extreme speed? I think it does. So, let's go into... Oh no, Bishop's asleep! Oh, that's not good. He goes for something tantrum. Wow. It's not good. It's not good. Um, we can... Let's go into Krug. I think Krug's our only sort of play here, but I'm pretty sure he wins now. If he goes for an extreme speed, uh, anything bar, that kills. Ooh. Actually, we might outspeed with Mega Hounder. Does he go for the extreme speed though? Yeah. Alright, so unfortunate is unfortunate. We probably should have just gone for a knockoff or even a um, superpower. But yeah, we misplayed pretty hard there. Let's go for a knockoff and it's not that skilled. Well, um, yeah, we misplayed really hard there with the extra um, Aqua Jet. Um, yeah, we definitely just needed to go for the superpower there, take it out. Um, we knew it was going to go for a belly drum, but I just, I, yeah, it was straight up just a misplay. I was really bad on my part. Sort of kicking myself in the butt for that. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you did enjoy this video, check out some of my others. I'm sure you'll like them just as much. Anyways.